Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 11th of january the session will be very interesting so do pay attention till the end so let's start with our session first we'll go for the revision part as you know friends in revision we will be discussing the previous current affairs so suggestions for all of you to make notes be it one liner notes or in whatever way you prefer but do make notes they will be helping you in the long term before exam for your preparation all right let's start first first we are talking about uttar pradesh up UP government has recently launched a UP global city campaign that is to make urban bodies on par with the global standard. I repeat, what did UP launch recently? It was a UP global city campaign. This was a campaign. This will be a 100 day long campaign. And this will this campaign is launched before global investors summit that will be in February. The reason for this campaign is that all the urban bodies or the urban areas in urban cities in up now should be at a par with the global standards even in up recently they stated that the big buildings that is your infrastructures high-rise buildings should have lighting as at the during night when there will be dark and these lightings will be lit up then all the local area will be looking beautiful and for the same reason only this Urban Bodies program that is your UP Global City campaign was launched to make urban bodies at par with global standards. Moving on, next is Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. Pravasi Bharatiya Divas is observed on 9th of January. Do you know why do we observe this on 9th of January only? Because in 1915, Mahatma Gandhi came back from South Africa to India. And that is the reason we observe this on 9th of January. And also Parvasi Bharati Divas is basically for the people who have gone outside of India in order to study and they are helping indirectly or directly in the Indian economy also you can say because they are giving providing remittances and there was a news also that India recorded 100 billion dollar in remittances in the year 2022 itself all right and that is a huge remittances next fifth Kelo india youth games where this fifth edition of the Kelo india youth games will be held 
दे विल हेल्प बी हेल्ड इन द स्टेट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश शिवराज सिंह चौहान नेक्स्ट थिंग इफ आई आस्क यू वेयर विल बी द हॉकी वर्ल्ड कप एफ आई एच हॉकी मैंस वर्ल्ड कप विल बी हेल्ड दिस विल बी हेल्ड इन ओडिशा इन राउकेला एंड भुवनेश्वर एंड इन राउकेला रिमेंबर बिगेस्ट हॉकी स्टेडियम ऑफ इंडिया हैज बीन बिल्ट ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज रिसेंटली द्रौपदी मुर्मू हु इज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया प्रेजेंटेड द डिजिटल इंडिया अवार्ड्स दैट इज योर डी आई ए दीज अवार्ड्स वर प्रेजेंटेड ऑन सेवेंथ ऑफ जनवरी इन न्यू डेली एंड एट विज्ञान भवन ऑल राइट क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस एट वॉट लोकेशन वर दीज डिजिटल इंडिया अवार्ड्स प्रेजेंटेड बाय द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो एट द विज्ञान भवन दैट इज इन न्यू डेली ऑन सेवेंथ ऑफ जनवरी दीज डिजिटल इंडिया अवार्ड्स वर प्रेजेंटेड अनदर थिंग रिमेंबर दीज वर द सेवेंथ एडिशन ऑफ दीज अवार्ड्स नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी वर्ड डिस्कस दैट आर बी आई हैज रिसेंटली इशूड सॉवरेन ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स Now, what are the sovereign green bonds? And we discussed this yesterday also. There is a difference between sovereign green bonds and there is a similar kind of product that is similar uh, sovereign gold bonds. What are these sovereign gold bonds? Sovereign means that fixed interest rate will be provided for a fixed interval of time. So, sovereign gold bonds is basically you can buy these gold bonds directly from the government, and they will be providing around two point five percent interest yearly. and after there will be a lock in period of 5 years and maximum duration will be 8 years after 8 years you can redeem those bonds and the value of the gold at that time will be provided to you after 8 years or you can also exist after lock in period of 5 years similarly there are these sovereign green bonds recently these sovereign green bonds the amount of money that will be collected through these sovereign bond green bonds they will be used for the infrastructure development all right and this infrastructure will be based on sustainable development goals that is we are talking about green bond that means we are talking about saving our environment cleaning our environment reducing pollution generating renewable sources of energy and so on so for the same recently 16000 crore rupees of made in green bonds has been issued by which organization it was rbi and these 16000 crore rupees bonds will be issued in two tranches of 8000 crore rupees each next next is purple festival what is purple festival purple festival is basically a festival for celebrating diversity and this means here we are talking about inclusion what is inclusion there is a term that is inclusive education inclusive education is basically an education where regular students and your disabled students they both study together all the facilities all the opportunities that are provided to a regular student is also provided to a disabled student that is your inclusive education and those are known as your inclusive schools so we should be working towards diversity and we should accept the diversity that is the reason this purple festival celebrating diversity was observed in the state of goa in goa saojo festival is also observed and in goa national museum for customs and gst is also located next who who uh, which is the organization that has developed or that is helping to develop the global center for traditional medicine in jamnagar gujarat that is your who world health organization and gujarat will be emerging as a center of global wellness next next is gamucha recently a gi tag was given that is your geographical indication tag was given to a product of assam and the name of the product is gamucha this gamucha as you can see this is a piece of a cloth this is a cotton woven cloth all right and you can see red strips here so this is gamucha in haryana we call it gamcha also so, all right so <coughs> remember which product from gi Uh, which product from Assam recently got the GI tag? It will be your Gamocha. Next, next is Shri Shaji K V has assumed the charge of the chairman of NABARD. Important take a note. Who is the new chairman of NABARD? He will be Shri Shaji K V. Next, then this is also very important. Who has been elected as the president of Indian Olympic Association? I O A. Who is the new president of I O A? 
pt usha she is related to athletics all right and if you remember during our childhood days also we used to say that uh, if a person is running very fast that is he a pt usha or what all right because she was a very fast runner coming back who has been appointed as the new president of indian olympic association pt usha moving on friends to the important news first is india and panama has signed an agreement on cooperation in training of diplomats during the 17th parvasi bharatiya divas convention all right now this is important and take a note that during the 17th edition of the parvasi bharatiya divas that is observed on 9th of january 2023 recently india all right and panama signed a cooperation that they will be tra training the diplomats so where was this parvasi bharatiya divas held it was in indore madhya pradesh all right this parvasi bharatiya divas convention was held from 8 to 10th of january all right and it was based on the theme that is diaspora reliable partners for india's progress in amrit kal i repeat diaspora let me show you the theme is uh, diaspora reliable partners for india's progress in amrit kal highly important all right apart from this remember here you can see the 17th parvasi bharati divas convention was held in indore madhya pradesh an agreement was signed between india and panama on the cooperation in the training of diplomats this was held from 8 to 10th of january and the theme was diaspora reliable partners for india's progress in amrit kal also india and uk also signed an exchange letters of uk india young professional schemes which will allow 3000 young indians and britons aged 18 to 30 to live study and work in each other countries without needing to have a job in hand next next we will be talking about renew power renew power has recently installed india's first 3x platform wtgs in karnataka what is this wtgs that is your wind turbine generators all right so renew power renew is the name of the company that is india's one of the largest independent power producers company for renewable energy all right and they have announced the installation of india's first 3x platform wind turbine generators at karnataka where are these 3x wtg uh, setup they are in karnataka these new wind turbine generators will be a component of india's first round the clock renewable energy project which combines wind solar and a battery energy storage system the energy produced by this project will be sufficient to power more than 1 million homes per year and 1 million is equal to 10 lakh homes per year all right highly important next next is our union minister jitendra singh has released the theme of the national science day 2023 first of all tell me this national science day also titled as the global science for global welfare at national media center in new delhi where was this held at national media center that is in new delhi all right highly important so what this is saying that a theme was released of this national science day 2023 all right highly important and what is the theme global science for global well being i repeat global science for global well being this is the name of the theme that was released by union minister jitendra singh for the national science day this theme indicates india's emerging global role and rising visibility in the international arena the theme has been chosen for the purpose of raising public appreciation of scientific issues in global context with having a bearing on global well being india's new science technology and innovation policy 2020 plans to seek to increase the effectiveness and expert driven promotion of science this theme that is global science for global well being is in sync with india's g20 presidency 
where it will become the voice of the global south developing countries of asia africa and south america if we talk about this national science day this is annually observed across india on 28th of february to commemorate the discovery of the raman effect in 1986 indian government declared 28th uh, february to be the national science day in the memory of C. V. Raman sir, who announced the discovery of the Raman effect on twenty eighth of February nineteen twenty eight, for which he was also awarded with Nobel Prize in nineteen thirty. All right, so that is everything you need to know about National Science Day and its theme. And who launched it? It was launched by Jitendra Singh. Next, next, remember, Government of India has allocated one thousand thirty seven crore rupees. to new Del- uh, new india literacy program for a 5 year period i repeat recently government of india has announced 1037 crore rupees for new india literacy program and that will be up for a period of 5 years that is from 2023 22 2022 2023 to 2026 2027 this new india literacy program was approved by the ministry of education in 2022 to cover all the aspects of adult education in accordance with the new education policy of 2020 all right if we talk about new education policy or nep remember the first education policy was launched in 1968 then in 1986 then this second policy was edited in 1992 and then later on in 2020 the third education policy has been launched all right then if we talk about this new india literacy program this foundational literacy and numeracy component of nilp that is your new india literacy program aims to reach 5 crore learners in the next 5 years all right this program has basically five objectives critical life skills basic education continuing education vocational skills and foundation literacy the government of india will be contributing around 700 crore rupees out of the total financial outlay of 1037 crore rupees while the state will contribute around 337 crore rupees for the same so we can say this expense is in the ratio of 60 40 all right next next is your axis bank and iisc has signed a memorandum of understanding to set up a center for mathematics and computing all right highly important i repeat it was your axis bank and indian institute of science bangalore karnataka they together signed a memorandum of understanding to set up a mathem a center for mathematics and computing and where this will be set up this will be set up at iisc Bangalore only. All right, this center will spread across one point six lakh square feet and will also have the state of the art of various labs programs that will benefit the facilities and also the students of the twenty IISC departments. Annually, this center will benefit more than five hundred engineers and scientists. Also, this will host the new IISC B Tech. program in mathematics and computing and the ongoing interdisciplinary phd program in mathematical sciences this state of the art facility will provide platform for exploring and undertaking research in the field of computational fluid dynamics computational biology quantum computing precision medicines digital health climate science material genomics cyber security AI that is your artificial intelligence machine learning data science and various other projects or courses then if we talk about axis bank who is the managing director and chief executive officer here amitab choudhry when was this established in 1994 and where is the headquarter it is in mumbai maharashtra moving on next next is ICRA has recently released or released a report that was bank bond insurance issuance reached a record of ninety one thousand five hundred crore rupees in debt capital in fiscal year twenty three. According to a report that was released by ICRA Limited, that is formerly known as Investment Information and Credit Rating Agency of India, gross bond issuances. I repeat, gross bond issuances. 
by Indian banks reached a record of ninety one thousand five hundred crore rupees in the first nine months, that is from April to December month of the financial year twenty twenty two to twenty twenty three. All right. In fiscal year twenty twenty two, bank issued seventy thousand crore in the gross bond issuance, and the previous record was eighty thousand in the fiscal year was seventeen two thousand seventeen. All right. Here you can see highly important. Apart from this, bank gross bond issuances are likely to reach one point three to one point four lakh crore by the end of the fiscal year twenty three, as the banking system's credit to deposit ratio continues to. Form up. If we talk about Sidbi, who is the chairman and managing director, Shiva Sub uh, Shiva Subramanian Ramanji. When was this established in nineteen ninety and had the headquarters in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. Next, we are talking about Pay Rap. Pay Rap, that is India's fastest payment app, has been launched recently. Pay Rap is basically a cutting edge web three point zero technology. So it is a three point zero. Web technology and offers an enhanced digital payment experiences with an exceptional user experience. PayUp was launched by Mahadevappa Halagati at a launch ceremony at a Lulu Mall in Bangalore, Karnataka. PayUp offers twenty-four by seven assistance and support to users. It is customer service desk utilizes cutting-edge customer relationship management that is also a CRM technologies and adheres to the international. Standards. Users of PayUp can purchase gift cards, recharge their mobile broadband and DTS services, and pay their utilities and landline bills also using this particular application. All right. When was this PayUp launched? It was in two thousand seventeen, and the headquarters is in Bangalore, Karnataka. All right. And remember, PayUp it is the India's fastest payment app. All right. Next. Next is SEBI has extended the trading hours in case of outage at stock exchange. I repeat, on ninth of January, SEBI issued a standard operating procedure that is SOP mandating stock exchanges to inform about the trading disruptions to stakeholders within fifteen minutes from such occurrences. The stakeholders include market participants, trading members, and other market infrastructure institutions. All right, and this has been extended the trading hour time by one and half hours in certain outrage conditions. The exchange will have to inform the SEBI through a dedicated email, and the decision follows the instances of technical issues which impact the overall trading system. Next, South Indian Bank has launched MSME online portal. So, South Indian Bank, that is headquartered in Thissur, Kerala, has launched an MSME online portal that will provide instant online in principle approval of up to one crore rupees. I repeat, South Indian Bank has launched MSME online portal that will provide instant online credit of up to one crore. Rupees. This initiative will support MSME business to get loans quickly and support the domestic MSME to scale up their businesses. This is in line with the government's effort to make India a five trillion dollar economy. Then, if we talk about HDFC Capital, they have achieved a three seventy six million dollar initial close for a scheme of two of H Care three. All right. HDFC Capital, a subsidiary of HDFC Limited, successfully achieved the initial close of three seventy six million dollar for the Scheme Two of HDFC Capital Affordable Real Estate Fund, that is three H Care three, and it is to provide long term flexible funding across affordable and mid income housing projects, including early stage funding. The primary investor in H Care three schemes. One and two is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, that is ADA. H Care Three has flexible to provide flexibility to provide equity funding for real estate projects and invest in tech companies that address the needs of the affordable housing ecosystem. All right. Next, next is your Kotak General Insurance ties up with Clue Track to boost customer. Experience. I repeat, Kotak Mahindra General Insurance Company Limited has partnered with Clue Track. So, Kotak General Insurance has partnered with Cool Clue Track, that is an artificial intelligence-powered real-time customer experience platform. This partnership will provide 
quoted General Insurance with the actionable insight about its non-life insurance product based on customer feedback as well as assist it in understanding the market gaps in order to improve its customer experience. Kotec General Insurance is a wholly owned subsidiary of Kotec Mahindra Bank. Alright, next. Next, we are talking about Garuda Aerospace. Who is the brand ambassador of Garuda Aerospace? Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Mahindra Singh, uh, Garuda Aerospace has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with Rallies India to boost the agriculture. Now, remember Garuda Aerospace, this is a drone manufacturing company. All right, it is based out of Chennai, Tamil Nadu. And this will be helping to boost agriculture. That means they will be providing drones. And with the help of drones, the process, various processes such as irrigation, spreading of pesticides and insecticide these processes will become easy in agriculture and this will be helping the farmers also as the drones will be using electricity we can say these drones will be uh can use solar energy and because solar energy is practically free after some time because only the installation amount and that too government is providing subsidy on those solar panels and also if a particular farmer is purchasing a drone even in that drone subsidy is provided by the government so garuda aerospace chennai based drone manufacturing company signed a memorandum of understanding with rallies india limited that is a subsidy of tata chemicals to work for the betterment of the farmers by leveraging technology in the agriculture operations the pilot demonstrates the spraying of pesticides on field through drones which will be conducted in Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. Rallies will also supply pesticides and crop nutrients, nutrients to Garuda Aerospace for the pilot demon. This drone pilot will conduct demonstration on a 1000 acre of land on crops like paddy, onion, Bengal gram, wheat and vegetables. Next, RS Sodhi has stepped down as the GCMMF MD and Jain Mehta has given the interim charge i repeat if we talk about it recently managing director of gujarat cooperative milk marketing federation that is gcmmf rs sodhi has stepped down from this post he will be succeeded by the chief operating officer of gujarat cooperative milk marketing federation that is jain mehta all right so rs sodhi will be replaced by whom jain mehta apart from this remember this gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation is the owner of India's biggest dairy Amu brand that is Amul. And what is the full form of Amul? Anand Milk Union Limited. Next, next is Michael Patra has been reappointed as the RBI's deputy governor for one year. I repeat, appointment committee of the cabinet ACC headed by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has approved the reappointment of Michael Dibatra or Michael Patra as the deputy governor of the Reserve Bank of India for a further period of one year. His term will start from 15th of January 2023. Also remember how many deputy governors are there in RBI. There are four deputy governors in RBI. Also remember Michael Patra's term, three-year term will end on 14th of January 2023 and from 15th of January his term for one year will be extended. Who is the governor of RBI? Shaktikan Das. Next. Herbal Life has signed cricketer Smriti Mandhana as their brand ambassador. Herbal Life. Uh, this is an international India private limited. Herbal Life Nutrition. They have signed Indian women cricketer Smriti Mandhana as their brand ambassador. And she is the fifth Indian athlete and second cricketer to be Herb Life's nutrition sponsor virat kohli marikom laksha sen manika batra are the other athletes associated with the brand and smriti mandhana hailing from mumbai maharashtra made her test debut in 2014 currently she is the vice captain of the indian women's national cricket team also herb life nutrition has more than 150 sponsored teams and athletes worldwide next recently united kingdom tried to send their first rocket mission but it ended up badly and it was a failure mission. So remember, UK's first rocket launch has faced failure after the rocket carrying the nine satellites failed to reach the orbit. Until now, UK satellites are sent through the foreign spacecraft. Even if you remember, there is a company 
वन वेब दैट इज़ अ कम्युनिकेशन बेस्ड सेटेलाइट दैट आर सेंडिंग देयर सेटेलाइट्स इनटू द स्पेस यूजिंग स्पेस एक्स रॉकेट दैट इज फैल्कन नाइन ऑल्सो वर्जिन ऑर्बिट अ कैरियर कंपनी विच वॉज स्टार्टेड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी प्रोवाइडेड द लॉन्च सर्विस बट इट वॉज अ फेलियर मिशन फॉर द यू के रिमेंबर दैट नेक्स्ट रियोन्ड पोएट एंड कश्मीर्स फर्स्ट ज्ञान पिट अवार्डी अब्दुल रहमान राही हैज पास अवे हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट मार्क दिस ऑल राइट रहमान राही अब्दुल रहमान राही हु रिसेंटली पास अवे ही वॉज अ रियोन पोएट फ्रॉम कश्मीर एंड ही वॉज द कश्मीर्स फर्स्ट ज्ञान पीठ अवार्डी नेक्स्ट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज योर वर्ल्ड हिंदी डे वेन डू वी ऑब्जर्व वर्ल्ड हिंदी डे इट इज ऑन टेंथ ऑफ जनवरी दैट वी ऑब्जर्व द वर्ल्ड हिंदी the question can definitely be asked from this and it is observed across the globe on 10th of january basically to celebrate and promote the rich culture and linguistic heritage of the hindi language and its speakers across the globe 10th of january marks the anniversary of the first time that hindi was spoken in the united nation general assembly in 1949 on 10th of january this day marks the anniversary of the first hindi conference that was held from 10th to 12th of january in 1975 in nagpur maharashtra all right also the 12th edition of the world hindi conference that is will be held in republic of fiji from 15th to 17th of february in 2023 i repeat 17th edition of this world hindi conference will be held from 15 to 17th of february 2022 also you need to remember the theme of the world hindi conference 2023 it is hindi traditional knowledge to artificial intelligence i repeat hindi traditional knowledge to artificial intelligence next tamil nadu's chief minister mk stalin has launched a platform for global tamil investors to fund the state startups i repeat recently in order to help the startups of the state tamil nadu state government has launched a platform that will be helping the global investors to come and fund the tamil nadu state startups here you can see mk stalin the chief minister of tamil nadu launched this global tamil angels platform that is www.tamilangels.fund for startups of tamil nadu for investors from the global tamil diaspora to make investments in the tamil nadu based startups the platform was launched during the global tamil startup investors summit jointly organized by tamil nadu startup and innovation mission and f fatna international tamil enterprise network in tamil nadu this platform will connect tamil nadu based startups with international tamil angel investors offer legal assistance for investors and help take products to the global market next next is west bengal's chief minister mamta ji but that is mamta banerji has inaugurated a new vehicle location control center and a mobile app as a part of efforts to enhance security for women in west bengal so this new vehicle location control center and a mobile application was launched by which state it was launched by west bengal this will help to enhance the women safety in west bengal both the control center and mobile app will help the police track the movement of vehicles and also keep a tab on the crime on women's inside a moving car it also helps panic button in each vehicle which on pressing alerts the police all right next so that's all for the day friends now let's go for a quick revision india panama signed an agreement on cooperation in training of diplomats during the 17th parvasi bharatiya divas convention 2023 renew power installed india's first 3x platform wind turbine generators in karnataka union minister jitendra singh has released the theme of the national science day 2023 government of india allocated 1037 crore rupees to new india literacy program for a period of 5 years rbi notified the revised list of accredited crediting agency credit rating agencies axis bank and iic has signed a memorandum of understanding to set up center for mathematics and computing ICRA report that bank bond issuances has reached a record high of 91500 crore rupees in debt capital of fiscal year 23 for a period of april to december month pair up that is india's fastest payment app has been launched sebi has extended the trading hours in case of outage of stock exchanges south indian bank has launched msme online portal hdfc capital achieves the 376 million initial close for a scheme of 2 of hcare 
कोटेक जनरल इंश्योरेंस हेज टाइड अप विथ क्लू ट्रैक टू बूस्ट द कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस गरुडा एरोस्पेस साइंड अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद रैलीज इंडिया टू बूस्ट द एग्रीकल्चर आर एस सोदी स्टेप डाउन एज द जी सी एम एम एफ एम डी जैन मेहता इज गिवन द इंटर्म चार्ज माइकल पात्रा री अपॉइंटेड एज द आर बी आई इज डेप्टी गवर्नर फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ वन ईयर नेक्स्ट गैबन हैज अपॉइंटेड ओसुका रपोंडा एज द वाइस प्रेजिडेंट और राइट नेक्स्ट हर्बा लाइफ साइंड अ क्रिकेटर She is Smriti Mandana and she is the brand ambassador of Herbal Life. Then UK's first ever rocket mission suffers anomaly and ends up in failure. Rion poet and Kashmir's first Gyanpeet awardee Abdul Rahman Rahi has passed away. World Hindi Day on 10th of January. Tamil Nadu's Chief Minister M K Stanley launched a platform for global Tamil investors to fund the state's startup. And West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee has launched a vehicle location control center and mobile application to boost the security of women in state. Now, friends, it's time for your homework. First, what is the estimated GDP growth rate of India in fiscal year 22-23 as per the NSO first advance estimate? Second, which institution awards the Eat Right Station certification to railway station? And which station was awarded with this certification recently? Tell me that also. We have discussed in daily current affairs. All right. Tell me the name of the station also. Next. Kilau volcano which was seen in the news recently is located in which country fourth which state launched a facility for entrepreneurs to submit complaints using whatsapp fifth what is the purpose of the amantran portal which was recently launched so this amantran portal is for what reason so these are your five homework question friends i hope you have understood the assignment now all you have to do is like the video and let us know in the comment section what are your views do you like this video then let us know in the comment section so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue